and welcome. This is Cafe South Asia. We've got Bishwaroop Rudra with us, a very, very young, talented singer. I hope I'm allowed to call you young. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to the show. Bishwaroop's forte is the golden oldies of the Bollywood era, and he has the very, very talented Shominda. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Bishwaroop, we're going to start with you. Tell yep. us a little bit about your background. Yeah, I was uh, not into you know uh, music uh, from the very beginning. To be very honest, uh, I started uh, performing. Uh, to be very honest, uh, from uh, since year two thousand. Okay. okay. I went to Bombay for uh, you know to, to perform in a reality show, uh, which is uh, in to another. Is it a big reality yeah, show? It's, or it's, a, it's, a, it's a big reality show. Um, that was Saragama. Okay. To be very honest, so I was uh, first runner up. 2000 you know then like I just started my career and uh, so that was like yeah, breaking that was point. Like what breaking would you point. do before you went for this reality show? I was I was basically into hotel management I did my hotel management from uh, Taratala and after that I, I like I was in Oberoi's I was in Delhi so what was your years. position in the hotel I was in the guest relations okay so you were yeah. pretty high up the rank mm, yep you were yeah so you must have got well paid. Why did you suddenly go to Saregama to compete? Oh, well, that 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 was uh, you can say a uh, basic instinct because you know in my family my father was into music. Uh, okay. My grandfather he was into uh, he was also very much into music. Uh, so it's in the blood. That, yeah. Okay. It was like an outside calling that I just had to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very you followed your heart basically, and not your academic degrees, is it? Uh, uh, but at the same time, I I I uh, used to like my profession also, like uh, hotel management mm -hmm. uh, thing. I used to like my job very much, to be very honest. But you know, s somehow uh, after after a few years, I decided uh, to switch over to music only. Okay. We're gonna ask the hotelier come singer to do us a song. One of his favorites, which one will it be? Uh, I'll be singing a uh, uh, Rofi number. Okay. okay. So, uh, Shaman, you can play. What's it called? Mm, sorry? It's, it's, it's Koi Sagar. Okay. And of course, I'm not familiar with any of these songs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll enjoy listening to it. Take it away. Koi Sagar Dilko Bahla Ta सागर दिल को बहलाता नहीं बेखुदी में भी करारता नहीं कोई सागर दिल को बहलाता नहीं Wonderful. This, uh, this comes favorite. so easily to you. Oh well, uh, that's 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 uh, one of my favorite songs. Did you ever train? Did you have voice training ever when you were small? Not really. I of course I learned some music from my father. You know. Okay. Uh, my father passed away in the year of uh, 96, very sorry 1996, yeah. Uh, but before that, of course, I mean, I was uh, very young. Uh, I, I, st I, I learned, uh, but that, that time, you know, I learned uh, Tagore songs okay. from my father. Because in my family, uh, Hindi song was basically a complete no. Only Bengali songs? Only Bengali songs, that, that two Tagore songs, uh, nothing Shanti. else. Only the Bengali songs, nothing else. I got too boring for you. Mm, yeah, to be very honest. <laughs> but very honest there, was, guy. There, there was no other way out mm -hmm. also. Uh, anyway, but uh, you know. Uh, so the guys in your hotel when you would work, would they like ask you to sing after working hours? Or? I'll tell you something. Uh, Shane, when I used to work in Obroz or any other, like in uh, other places, nobody knew that I am a singer. What are you saying? You didn't tell people, uh, you didn't no, flaunt never, it. Never, never, never. How lousy. When in 2000, like uh, that uh, show, the came asking, yeah, yeah. Saragama. And from that very day, they came to know that, yeah, Rudra can sing. 
Is it? In my office, uh, everybody calls me Rudro. And then did the attention circle change? Uh, yes. And did they make yes, you do the, yes, the full yeah. Monty and all after working hours and stuff like that? Jump up on the table, open uh, your shirt, yeah. and sing sort of, over the sort of, sort of, sort of, sort uh, of. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about these exciting uh, experiences that you had. As a hotelier come singer, now you're a full-time singer. Yeah. You don't do hotel thing anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know the transition between hotel and, you know, how did it happen? Was it difficult for you? Was it easy leaving the hotel and becoming a singer? Not very easy, you know. Like I, I left this industry. I, I, I'm talking about the hotel industry. I left the industry uh, after I got married, you know. Okay. Uh, and of course, the inspiration I got uh, from my wife, Sudeshna. And uh, she inspired me like anything and said, if you want to establish yourself as a singer, then you have to live this. Okay, because, because I was into guest relation. I used to, you know, uh, talk all the time with my guests. Then I decided, no, mm. I have to leave this industry. Uh, th though it was a very heartbreaking moment for us, as I told you earlier, I used to love my uh, uh, job very much. But of course, ultimately I left and I... But you were in the right stream, but if you were in charge of guest relations, I mean, if anything ever went wrong in the hotel, you could have always gone up to your guest's room singing <laughs> on Mahmoud Rafi's song and apologizing. I mean, we, you, you people know. in this part of the world don't have that kind of approach, do they? Never, What's your take never. on the current scene of music? I mean, I know you only sing the golden oldies, but have you ever tried your hand, uh, you know, in the new age Bollywood and Bhangra and you know, really, that kind of stuff? Do you really, like listening really. to it? Uh, I like listening to it, of mm. course, but I never tried, you know, uh, singing those numbers because... Do you uh, think the new age Bollywood music has a larger fan base than the stuff that you like to sing? I cannot really say that, you know, like, uh, I don't think so, to be very honest, because uh, wherever and whenever I go, in fact, in this you know, 29th of this month, we are going to US, uh, okay. myself and Sudeshna. And there also we'll be singing uh, old melodies. Okay. Old melodies, I have, uh, I, have, I have seen one thing, old melodies have an all time, you know, uh, acceptance, appeal. yeah, appeal. Yeah. Uh, Breakfast, lunch and dinner, you can yeah, hear them. Yeah, so. But you can't hear Sadi Gali when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right, give me a song now. We're going to ask you to sing a song, a song that a lot of people request from you all the time. Mm. <laughs> La jawab ho chand se ka chand ho ya aftab ho jo bhi ho tum khuda ki qasam la jawab ho chand se ka chand ho that was wonderful, Bishrook. Tell me, where did you meet this uh, fantastic keyboardist friend of yours? Well, uh, you know, uh, normally I don't sing uh, bhajans and all, but... Uh, okay. <coughs> he plays bhajans? He plays bhajans very well, you know. Is it? Yeah. We must get a demo from him uh, yeah. as soon as we please, finish speaking. Please, please do that.